we will discuss about the transportation the process transportation before starting the process of transportation we will clear the some questions that will help you uh, sequentially the process of transportation the first transportation what is to transport what is to transport it means what are the material what is to transport what the materials are there transport that you have to uh, transfer or send from one point to another the second question we will discuss here what is to transport the question can be uh, understood here well what is to be transport the question first what is so can you tell me what is to transport here to transport so obviously in the process of what is to transport the answer is what here in the process of digestion you had seen the food molecules after the digestions are absorbed in the small intestine and there they diffused into the blood stream and further the blood stream carry the food molecules in the different parts of the uh, organism different parts of the body right now we can speak here to the organisms as the organisms is made up of organ system an organ system together with tissue and tissue also made up of the cell it means now the molecule is available for the cell to absorb right now to we can speak here osmotized it right now means the food molecules is now to enter into the cell but what is the mean that is carrying the food from the digestive i mean to say from the from yes what will carry this so the blood is the actually fluid media that will carry the food molecules from the digestive tract from the digestive system to the different parts of the body is that clear so the answer first is the food molecule food is to be transferred here and what the next is to be transferred here the second is in the process of respiration we have we had seen the gas are getting diffused into the blood stream at the site of lungs we can speak here where the in the breathing mechanism we have seen well that how the gases are getting diffused in the alveoli alveoli there are high concentration of oxygen uh, in the air which is breathed in inhaled air is there and in that the oxygen is more is that clear and this oxygen is actually get mixed into the blood and the, in the blood erythrocyte the cell called the blood cell rbc uh, is protein is the hemoglobin the hemoglobin protein has the center atom atom iron and the iron is actually susceptible here to the oxygen so iron is carrying oxygen so we can will not speak here the hemoglobin Mm, carrying the oxygen the blood carrying oxygen so we'll speak here the blood will carry the oxygen however the pigment present in the blood generally the when the question is asked that what is the pigment that carry the blood so the answer is the hemoglobin but the blood will carry so the second things that is to be transported is uh, gas uh, i mean to say gas is also to be transported and especially what gas please tell me oxygen and other other thing other also others also is to be transported like hormones and uh, uh, hormones and different chemicals biochemicals are here and transmitters also so we now did need to discuss here first we'll discuss here the two things that is food and so <clears throat> what is the transport is what is to transport the second what will transport who will transport is that clear who will transport what will transport who will transport the second question is to be known here this who will transport the answer so who will transport the answer is the blood meat <coughs> blood 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 will transport the answer is blood that is we can speak here a fluid media fluid media medium also single fluid medium in the body in the body body that also have the different structure here fluid medium and how this happens and how this how this will be done how this how is this done how is this done so tell please answer this is done okay this is done this is done by what here <coughs> this is done by pumping of blood pumping of blood pumping of blood 
so what pumps the blood the answer is heart heart so main work is main work of the heart is to pump the blood to pump blood to pump the blood so everybody you know what is the working of heart is that clear to pump the blood uh, so the main working of heart we can say what is the other working that every people that's uh, uh, the other working of our heart is also there what the working is there sometimes we lose our heart sometimes we uh, get the heart of the others this is not a so fantastic but the main working is the is of the heart is to pump the blood main working is that clear so what is to transport we have well described here and how this is to be done so well transportary system is there so transportation what is transportation obviously to carry the answer was to carry to carry what is to carry to carry the metabolic stuff to carry the metabolic 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 stuff is that clear from one part from one part one part one organ one part of body one part of body to another <coughs> this is called the transportation and what the stuffs are there i have explained here what the stuffs are here so for this purpose there is a well transportary system is there transportary transportary system so when we talk about the system obviously it has the many parts here so transportary system have different parts we can understand the main part is what here blood the main part is blood and the second part is what here heart obviously its working is to pump the blood and the third part of this is vessels obviously how the how, how the blood will move through the, there should be some pipe and tubular structure will be there through which in which because blood is the fluid and the fluid how can move from one place to obviously it can move through the vessels or the vascular system okay we, we can speak uh, cylindrical like uh, vessels these are so vessels are what here blood vessels sometimes they are called blood vessels and blood vessels are here we classified for the two and the arteries arteries and the second is vein arteries and vein so how the art and through the blood uh, through the heart blood goes through arteries and come to the come to the heart again by the veins and how the junction between them is called the capillary capillary is that clear so what is the capillary we can speak the junction of the arteries and veins is said to be capillary so well understood you guys what is the uh, uh, i'm telling this again transportation system blood heart and vessels vessels are to arteries and veins and the capillaries also the fine tubular structure we can speak here this is a capillary right now this is a macroscopical understanding of the transportary system what is to transport here and we need to describe here another process also this process is said to be diffusion and osmosis osmosis so osmosis can be had a movement of the molecule from the region of high concentration to the low concentration via a selectively permeable membrane called spm clear right now so here we'll explain the working of each one what is the working of blood and what is the composition of the blood here we'll explain the worky working of the heart and how the work uh, how the heart works here and we also describe here the different uh, patterns of the blood vessels means arteries and when they are working and their difference between them also here is that clear so that today the topic we will deal with the transportary transport a uh, transport transportations and transportary system is that clear guys right you may say that in the transportation human so you here an activity is given before you this on this uh, your ncert text here uh, so visit a health center in your locality and find out what is the normal range of the hemoglobin contained in human beings is it the same for the children and adult as there any difference in the hemoglobin level for men and women visit a ventilator clinic in your locality find out whether the normal range of the hemoglobin contains so this activity is actually helping you to know the hemoglobin level means hemoglobin is what this is a protein here protein the protein is structure is found inside the blood if more the hemoglobins are there more oxygen will be carried 
in the um, carry to the cells here and more availability of oxygen will be there and more oxidation will be here there and more energy will be in the body it means the hemoglobin play a great role in the process of the energy releasing process we can say speak here the respiration clear so here an activity is given here sometimes you may see some people who have the low blood means there are uh, we can say rbc their hemoglobins uh, concern and uh, concentration in the blood is less due to the less concentration of the blood people get uh, weakness and they just get tired soon right now if they do any work so this is an activity revealing what is the use of hemoglobin this is the oxygen carrying pigment okay so we have seen in previous section the blood transport oxygen and blood waste from material from the body in the ninth class we learnt about the blood being a fluid connective tissue why it's called fluid fluid connective tissue this is a fluid connective tissue what the reason that it is called a fluid connective tissue it is fluid connective tissue why fluid connective tissue the fluid connective means it is a fluid and it is connecting the one organ of the body to another so it's called fluid connective tissue blood consists of fluid medium called plasma <coughs> with the cell are suspended plasma means it's simply watery appearance when pale yellow colored liquid it is is that clear however in the some books it is written here the is colorless it is okay so plasma transport food carbon dioxide nitrogenous waste dissolve in the form so another thing nitrogenous waste how this is obviously inside the cell there is some uh, repairing and there some metabolic process takes place in protein structures involved in the process of biochemical uh, biochemical process right now and there the some organ organelles of the cell gets tied their proteins gets uh, broken into the simpler ones so some amino acids are released here and some proteins are in, in the I mean, we can say the uh, the uh, traces traces of the um, maintaining work and traces of the regeneration work and traces of the these are actually called the excretory I means nitrogenous waste because the involvement of the <coughs> nitrogen product uh, proteins especially right now so this is the nitrogenous waste especially ammonia we'll talk about ammonia the uh, we can understand here ammonia means uh, this is ammonia NH3 uh, so we can uh, speak here ammonical waste here okay also so these are actually mixed into the blood blood actually carry them back uh, from the different cells to the uh, excretory organ okay the next topic will be the excretory organ so oxygen is carried by the red blood cells many other cells like salts and are transported by the blood we just need a pumping organ to push the blood obviously how the blood will move in the body so the pump organ is everybody know here the heart is okay and our network of tubule tubes is also to be there because the to every organ there should be uh, there should a reach of there should be a reach of uh, what we can say blood that can carry uh, the fluid to the target organ a system in place to ensure that the network can be repaired if damaged okay so you may see here a sketch of heart is before you right now the left side part you are watching here this is blue and the right side part here just appearing non blue and the red is is there is that clear guys so in different organs of the heart is also will describe the anatomy of heart okay so before that i just uh, i'm telling you the heart what is heart okay no? and how the heart is actually work so about the heart i will say you it's just located in the chest cavity slightly left side and its weight is uh, 250 gram approximately uh, to 300 gram and its dimension is 9 by 12 by 15 so 9 by 12 by 15 dimension very a uh, fist size you can when you will fold your fist right now fist uh, a feast feast means uh, you can speak in hindi it's mutti uh, so we can speak here this is a one size feast the heart is okay so divided in the two main part between that the, this layer and the regions between the two divisions vertically is said to be here septum and the septum is dividing uh, further um, in two chamber and further the horizontal line divides them through a valve the upper and lower these are called auricle and ventricle uh, atria <coughs> auricle and ventricle atrium <coughs> sometime is spoken this okay so different is means the structure of heart first need to understand here and what type of question comes in examination just i want to tell you first draw the structure of heart it's very less time to come in the examination the drawing the heart because it's quite complex but the working of heart is very important so the main working of heart is to pump the blood okay so whatever it is located so you just can see what the stuff is given in your ncrt text so this is heart muscular organ which is a big or faced because of both oxygen carbon dioxide have been transported by the blood 
the heart has different chamber to prevent the oxygen rich blood from mixing the blood containing okay carbon dioxide rich blood has to reach the lungs for the carbon dioxide i will explain everything else in that here okay so what actually happens in the blood so before that uh, in the heart before the starting this we'll just describe here the concept uh, of the way what we can see here the concept of uh, the heart and how the heart the organ system heart here and what are the different functions of heart and how we can understand the heart also is that clear this is called the transpiratory system we just have to understand is that clear or not guys and we'll later we'll discuss here further the concept of so what else so everything else we'll see here about heart clear right now guys so see the heart function and heart how actually this works the heart is a muscular organ that functions as a double pump to control blood flow the heart of an adult male is slightly larger than that of an adult female on average a normal adult heart is about the size of a fist and weighs a pro you may see here a lub dub lub dub sound is made by the heart this lub dub sound is actually the pressure sound here okay and uh, this happens due to the uh, involuntary action and this is a definite part of the um, part of the brain actually control this process of heartbeat this is called heartbeat right now and this approximately takes 72 times uh, uh, within uh, what we can say 72 times uh, average minute of that year if within one minute it makes 72 times beat average it is but sometime in children it's uh, more and in the adult and the olden people this is uh, less there could be less here right now and this control actually the pressure and the force that makes the movement of the blood through of the body okay so the lub dub Lub is actually with the 120 mm and this is the healthy body heart uh, high pressure it is and the low pressure this is called the systolic and diastolic pressure. Systolic pressure is up and the diastolic pressure is low. Systolic pressure means the pl blood is pumped uh, by the heart to the body and diastolic pressure means just blood comes into the uh, heart here okay and how the blood comes here you see through the animation. Approximately 300 grams less than one pound. The exterior of the heart has a conical shape. The interior of the heart is divided into four hollow chambers enclosed by a layered wall. The heart has a right and a left side, each side with two chambers, an atrium and a ventricle. The right and left sides of the heart work in coordination to pump oxygenated blood you are watching here the middle layer you say red one there where, which is lab, uh, separating the left and right chamber okay this middle layer uh, and the wall is said to be septum is that clear and the blue lower you may see this is called the atria means it is receiving the imp, uh, uh, deoxygenated blood from the all tissues of the body okay and this is called receiving chamber the right side uh, uh, you may see on your screen you may see the left side it is but in your body it is right side okay so right side chamber is the receiving chamber and the left side chamber is the pumping chamber throughout the body and deoxygenated blood to the lungs the heart of a healthy adult beats about 60 to 70 times a minute to keep blood constantly moving Within the thoracic cavity, there is a thin sac known as the pericardium that encloses and protects the heart. Blood start uh, beating from your birth, is that near till the end of the life? And even the blood is, is an organ, it's in its own, so it also requires the blood to survive. And the tissue of the heart uh, are called the uh, cardiac tissues, made up of the cardiac cell, right now? And these have the continuous movement, rhythmic movement, is that clear, one by one. And uh, so what supply, what, how the nutrition the heart get from the body. So obviously vessels, some vessels and the arteries veins also uh, giving supply to the nutrition, supply of the nutrition to the heart. These are called the artery, it means uh, what we can speak, they especially called as renal, um, sorry, uh, heart arteries are here, heart veins also here, this is that clear? Coronary arteries, this is namely called coronary, sinus, coronary arteries. These words are actually related with the heart here. What is coronary arteries? It's giving supply to the heart, this is called, clear? Right now? So this is simple process here, the, what the human heart is. And uh, the, uh, the blood comes into the heart and uh, it becomes, uh, the heart is not getting pure, the blood here. The heart actually the pumping the blood here. You may see the upper, you also have seen the upper, the blood is moving upper and opening of that. Upper opening is called that, uh, uh, upper part of this called the, from it rising from the 
right ventricles okay this is called atrioventricular wall through this wall it entered into the lungs means the after coming from the body to body the blood from the heart it's transferred to the lungs when the blood comes from the body to heart and then it transported uh, transported it to the lungs and lungs they are the oxygen and deoxygenated involvement uh, oxygenated and deoxygenated blood actually exchange their gases here this is called the gaseous exchange i had explained in the process of respiration this okay the, and again the blood comes into the again blood comes into the heart and it just goes into the right uh, left chamber right now and from the lower part of the left chamber it's pump into the body here through the uh, 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 large and diameters vesicles vessels this is called aorta right now so how this happens you may see this complete happening the blood comes into the heart and the blood goes into the lungs blood again comes into the heart and blood goes to the body and again blood comes into the heart this is the call one complete cardiac cycle means one uh, diastolic pressure one dialectic happening one second the systolic happening one complete happening is called the cardiac cycle right now so see how this happens through the animation the cardiac cycle regulates both electrical and mechanical activities of the heart an electrical impulse is sent which results in a mechanical action this cycle repeats again and again increasing during exertion and decreasing while the body is at rest blood flows through the heart in the following sequence an electrical impulse stimulates contraction of the atria which results in the opening of the atrioventricular valve you may also see here this left side and right side you may see the left side the blue color is appearing here it is the blood coming from the body and what the vessels this coming from the body is called that uh, uh, vena cava the vessels is called vena cava it's connected from the upper part and the lower part also right now so it's collecting the blood and there is a wall certain right now to prevent the back flow of the blood Oops. blood flows from the atria into the ventricles through the av valves when the ventricles fill, the AV valves close. Upon contraction of the ventricles, the semilunar valves open, and blood flows from the ventricles through the valves and out of the heart. After the two chambers empty, the semilunar valves close, and the cycle repeats. This cardiac cycle can be split into two phases, systole and diastole. Ventricular contraction and constriction is known as systole while relaxation and expansion of the ventricles is called diastole. Diastole is longer and takes up two thirds of the cardiac. So what is happening? You may see at the high pressure, this is called the systolic pressure. At the time of systolic pressure, that is 120 mm of Hg, the blood reaches first uh, at the same time. Blood goes into the body from the left region and blood goes into the lungs from the right region you may see here the blue carrying blue vessels carrying the blood deoxygenated into the lungs and the red here carrying the aorta carrying the blood into the body cycle systole is shorter and takes up the other third during systole the ventricles contract and pump blood out of the heart into the vascular system this phase begins with the closure of the av valves and ends with the closure of the semilunar valves during diastole, the ventricles relax and fill with blood, which flows from the atria. Diastole starts with the closure of the semilunar valves and ends with the closure of the AV valves. Electrical impulses keep the heart pumping to a regular rhythm. The rate of contractions in a healthy heart is about 60 to 70 beats per minute when the body is at rest. During physical activity, the heart beats about 100 to 120 times per minute. So, I've seen guys here, uh, the complete functionings, a simple standard, 10th standard, this is, however, uh, this is also, uh, this also comes in the uh, 11th class also. So, I'm telling you the functioning of the heart in the detail, but exactly heart does here. So, this is called a cardiac cycle, you have seen here. One systolic and diastolic pressure, complete flow of the blood is said to be one cardiac cycle, right now. And uh, I also want to give the introduction to the anatomical structure of the heart and what the heart is made up of. However, I told you this is made up of the cardiac tissue, but you just have to see in this. The heart wall is composed of several layers. The three layers of the heart wall are the epicardium, the myocardium, and the endocardium. The outermost layer, or the epicardium, is also known as the visceral pericardium, or the innermost layer of the pericardium. It covers the heart 
wraps around the roots of the great blood vessels and adheres the heart wall to its protective sac. The middle layer is called the myocardium. The myocardium is responsible for the heart's pumping action. Its strong muscle tissue makes powerful, continuous contractions possible. This thick layer performs the bulk of the heart's work. The endocardium is the inner layer of the heart wall, lining the heart's interior structures, the chambers, valves, and papillary muscles. The endocardium is continuous with the lining of the blood vessels that attach to the heart. Together, these three layers of the heart wall aid contraction and relaxation as the heart pumps. So see guys here, the heart tissue, how this works here. And I just want to really give the, uh, individually, the chamber of heart. It means so a different chamber, four chambers of heart is there. But uh, in some animals, some organisms, uh, there are not four chambers in the heart here. Because the four chamber means the blood will delay to reach from the first chamber to second, second to heart, lungs, lungs to third, third to fourth, and then to the body. So blood will actually have carrying the oxygen. So it will become late here and the organism will not fulfill the supply of oxygen. So some organisms who are living in uh, water, they are called aquatic, not have the four chambered heart. They have the two chambered heart in fishes. Is that clear? All right now guys, so see the heart chamber. The heart has four hollow chambers the left and right ventricle, and the left and right atrium. Each chamber has a different function. The right atrium receives oxygen-depleted blood and empties it into the right ventricle. This blood then flows to the lungs for gas exchange. Oxygenated blood from the lungs enters the left atrium and empties into the left ventricle. From there, it flows out of the heart into the arteries of systemic circulation to distribute oxygen throughout the body. So all about the heart you have seen here and what is the working of the heart and the heart valve is also there means the backflow of the um, heart is there also. So you just have to understand here the heart valve. The four heart valves control the flow of blood through the heart by opening and closing the heart chambers in a coordinated sequence. The two valves located between the atria and the ventricles are called the tricuspid and mitral valves. These valves facilitate the flow of blood as it moves into the ventricles from the atria. The other two valves are the aortic and pulmonary semilunar valves. These valves prevent the backflow of blood into the segment it just exited. Each of the four valves is composed of flaps called leaflets or cusps which prevent backflow of blood in the wrong direction. So different types of valve we have seen here. Why the valves are present in this? So obviously when the blood is moving with the deoxygenated blood is moving in the vessels then it should not uh, come back. So for this is uh, valve are present to prevent the backflow but uh, sometimes the oxygenated blood is just going out. So it's not if it come back no problem is there because the toxicity in that blood is less right now. So uh, anti-ventricular valve, mitral valve, bicuspid valve, tricuspid valve. The cuspid, cusps, there is a structure, membrane is a structure here, cusps. So three cusps are present and two cusps are present then they are called the two bicuspid valve and the three cus uh, tricuspid valve also right now. So and they are also valve present in the veins right now to prevent the backflow of the arterioventricular valve, mitral valve, okay. So these valves you just have to keep remember where they are present, what is their working, however this is detailed study uh, according to the 10th examination but you just have to know this, is that clear guys and condition in heart how this happens. So it's, I think here there is no need to how they, this happens here, actually electro um, is um, Electromagnetic signals are actually generated and where the signals are produced, so uh, just also... The heart's sinus. conduction system regulates the electrical impulses that make the heart beat. An impulse begins in a bundle of nerve tissue called the sino... Means the uh, nerve cells are also present in the heart to give the signal here. Uh, what is to do here? This is, means uh, we can speak at every muscle, every cell, every uh, in a tissue of the body are actually uh, receiving the message and signal from the uh, nervous system, through the nervous system. The nervous system is, the brain is also part of the nervous system, is giving the message what is to conduct and what is to do further, right now. So we can speak here a sinoatrial, this is called SA node, we will speak here, okay. So sinoatrial node it is called. So where the signals actually are generated to uh, pump the, to make the motion the heart is called Atrial motion. or SA node. 
the impulse makes the atria contract and blood empties into the ventricles. Next, the impulse travels to the atrioventricular or AV node. It passes through the bundle. You may see where this and bundle of phases also, yeah. The locations of where uh, sinoatrial wall and uh, uh, neurons where the site of the uh, creating signal to make the heartbeat, to make the pumping of that, to make the motion of the tissue, right? No? And bundle of haze is also there. The bundle branches and the Purkinje fibers. As the impulse reaches the ventricles, it triggers a contraction there and the heart ejects blood. So see guys here, what this happens here, the heart conduction and how the, why actually heart beats here. So how to measure the, um, the blood pressure, what is called the blood pressure. So obviously there to need a force and the pushing effort also made by, um, made by the heart to push the blood further right now. So this is called the blood pressure. As blood moves through the circulatory system, it puts pressure on the walls of blood vessels. Blood pressure is the amount of force put on blood vessels. It is caused by the blood flow generated. So blood when flow through the vessels, it also exert a pressure on the wall of arteries. So arteries should be uh, uh, um, strong, means there are thick walled structure this is called. Because the blood flow in the arteries with the high pressure. And uh, there is a certain concentration and the certain dilution of the blood is also here. Sometimes blood is concentration, sometimes the blood, the food stuff like sugar increases in the blood here. So blood require, uh, so pump require, the heart require more pumping and more works to pump the blood here. So sometimes these are the malfunctions of the heart, is that clear? But this not happens in the, uh, uh, which this could, however, could be happening in any age here. Because so medically it can, it's not a here that the old but most of the people, most of the uh, chances are there that this types of problem actually occur in the old age. The people of the, uh, I mean, uh, senior ages are actually suffering from this type of problem, right? Rated by the heart as it pumps and the resistance that blood encounters as it moves through the enclosed vessel. When the heart contracts, blood is pushed out into the arteries. This force pushes against the vessel wall, making blood flow faster under high pressure. When the ventricles relax, the vessel walls push back and blood flow slows down, resulting in lower pressure. The constant pumping of the heart maintains blood pressure and supply throughout the body. <coughs> is that clear guys? So what is called and how to measure the heart pressure? What is the method that to measure the heart pressure here? It's simple here, look this. Blood pressure is used as a measure of normal cardiovascular function. The point of highest pressure when the ventricles are contracting and the pressure is highest in the arteries is called systolic pressure. The point of lowest pressure when the ventricles are relaxed and the semilunar valves are closed is called diastolic pressure. Blood pressure is commonly recorded by measuring both systolic and diastolic pressures. The average systolic pressure is 120 millimeters of mercury. The average diastolic pressure is 70 to 80 millimeters of mercury. The pressure is said to be systolic and the instrument which is used to measure the pressure is sphagmomanometer. Please listen again, sphagmomanometer. Is that clear guys? So today we have seen the functions of the blood and the working of the heart is also we have seen here. The different chamber you have seen here, the left side you may see this is the vena cava, it receiving the blood here right now. Uh, the blood is called the right lower part is called, this is called uh, right ventricle. The blood actually going into the lungs here toward the right, toward the left. Is that clear or not? And again, the blood comes from here to in that here, uh, from back side, right now, it just come into that. And from here, the blood goes into the left and to the right. So this is the working of the heart. However, the uh, structure of heart is quite complex, but it has chance to come in examination. But sometime if it comes in exam, then how will you draw heart here? So a rough research can how a student can draw here. Then. An average student of average level, how can draw? So I was also average uh, while uh, studying in the 10th class. So I will just raise your confidence to draw the diagram of the heart here. It's very simple, a fine sketch I'm telling you to draw. Is that clear guys? So very simple it is. First you just have to make this type of a structure. Is that clear? Um, just uh, what is that, how it's formed here this? This type of structure is there to heart here, be made here. Like this is clear. And first is to divide in the two part, right? We have divided into two parts, and for later, another uh, another layer is to also to be made here. This okay, and this layer is that. And later, finally, we'll give this layer. Okay, so further, this vessels is to be brought here. This from lower to upper, is that clear? It's a lower or it's upper, right now. It's called vena cava. The blood is coming here too, and this is uh, taken as wall. You will just give here the wall. Sorry, you will give here wall. Right now, the wall is there. 
present. Three cuspids, uh, cups are, you have to just make here. Two cusps here and one cusp is there. Okay, and uh, here there's some blood, and just you know, from here we need to make here a vessel. This is to go to the left and to the right. Is that clear? Huh? This is to here, and further uh, the blood coming back. So it's coming from back here, right now from the left and right. It's coming into that here. So we just can give here. It's coming here. It's also the cusp. Uh, well, there is no wall present here. Clear, guys? And from here there again uh, wall is present this is called aorta lower and it's uh, upper here the interesting thing is here the how how uh, how uh, rust and how bad some diagram i'm just drawing you could see here but i it's not here the diagram here and originally i could not draw the figure here so i give need here to uh, outlines as there you may see this is is that clear uh, i just actually raising your confidence your diagram what you are doing is very good here okay right now so now uh, just give the name here what is called everyone uh, so you need to give and give the outline also here right now this is your uh, i'm telling this this is your yeah this is your uh, we'll speak here the word we'll speak here this is your inner membrane okay you just may see this is that here here it is this okay guys and there is no connection between them is there it's your heart is we just can make here this it's your heart when you will give the name to that here then your heart will be finally here and average student, i already told you this okay this is called vena cava okay this is vena cava vena cava uh, superior inferior it's called right atrium it's called left uh, ventricle it's called uh, left atrium and it's called left ventricle is that clear uh, this is what this is the septum you need to give the septum is here okay it's a septum oh, and and what this nest is called and further is to draw here also and uh, it's right left ventricle this is called uh, cardiac uh, dendine this i told you this and it's called septum i told you this sorry and this is aorta this is called uh, and wall where are present it's called by tricuspid wall and here the bicuspid wall means if you will write the name of part of uh, leveling of the diagram if you will do that then your diagram will be fine here a very uh, rust and bad some diagram i have drawn here but uh, an average student can get this here very really, i just i don't have the time while uh, teaching online here so don't have the time to draw a fine structure but i am not good in drawing this structure is that clear guys so well understood here this so what is the structure of heart that we have done here so oxygen enter into the blood lungs where everything else i told you uh, this is the flow uh, flow chart of the blood where from it reaches to you may see this is okay guys so well understood you about the where oxygen takes place and the pressure measurement also i told you right now and the tubes structure blood vessels also okay so now we'll next discuss here the concept of the components of the blood right so what are the components of the blood so next is component of the blood you may see in the study middle have look this transport system so you may see the plasma comp blood components are first as you may uh, it's a plasma look this plasma second blood capsules at white capsules and platelets are there the different parts of the blood they are called okay so function of blood is what obviously carrying oxygen carrying nutrition carrying waste material carrying the uh, other also or enzymes hormones right now the different types of uh, actually materials are carried by the blood so we'll study one by one uh, plasma working right so you may see what is the working of plasma here the blood passes from one part to another part they are working and the difference between arteries also they are vein okay and this is thick walled arteries why thick wall because plus blood pressure in the arteries is high okay and this is thin walled you may see because the blood pressure is low and deep located and superficial means uh, um, just you see on your hand back uh, means uh, post side of the your paw right now post side your hand you will see on this post side your embossing means uh, some slightly coming from the upside to the surface okay these vessels these are not arteries these are the veins okay carry blood oxygen from this is working is given here arteries carrying oxygenated blood veins carrying deoxygenated blood okay wall present wall absent so on this basis we can write the difference between them is that clear guys we also have seen here the structure of heart so and what is the working of the heart here one by one you will write down this okay guys and working of main working is to pump the blood okay so our left and right part receive the deoxygenated everything else you write there, okay what are wall what is the working of wall here everything written here pulmonary veins what is working of that 
pulmonary arteries actually veins have the actually veins are carrying the oxygenated blood the pulmonary is the vein which is carry oxygenated blood generally veins carry deoxygenated blood but the pulmonary artery vein is the vein which carry oxygenated blood and it is from lungs to heart okay so this uh, this could be a question here this is only vein carry oxygenated blood similarly pulmonary artery is there also that uh, the pulmonary artery artery has the function uh, to carry the oxygenated blood this is but this is the artery which carry deoxygenated blood obviously this happens between the lungs and heart clear so sometime question comes what is double circulation i would have seen the double circulation once blood is coming into heart and again going into the blood uh, lungs to filter right now and after filtering the blood is coming back into the heart and now that's going into the body so twice during one flow of the blood twice the blood is coming in the heart during one flow complete circulation cardiac uh, cycle we can speak here is called the double circulation clear guys and what is the platelet what is the lymph here okay so tomorrow we'll discuss about the different components of the blood platelets and cartilage platelets and thrombocyte erythrocyte plasma everything else is that clear guys your assignment of the day you may just note down here guys uh, take the study mill yours your assignment of the day is um, look this is that here where is that yeah ncrt index questions are here this you may see page number page number in the study middle at 10 question number 15 note please question number 15 16 right now and 14 also to be done this okay guys we'll try to solve this thank you very much have a nice day